Okay, Secretary Rivera, these two questions are from our justice reporter, Diane Buan. Um, the first question is, uh, are independent data called from official data from DOJ and the Supreme Court and recently flags data shows that from Marcos to Aquino, there were 49 lawyers, judges, and prosecutors killed. That's 49 killings in 44 years compared to 61 in just five years under President Duterte. Sir, uh, what can you say about this? Because people are saying that it's because the president has created an atmosphere of violence and impunity. Uh, Mr. Crocky, uh, I uh, major would garbage the uh, last part of the question here. Would you kindly paraphrase the question for me, if you don't mind, Lisa? Okay. Right. Um, Secretary, uh, because the data showed that um, in the five years that the president has been in power, 61 lawyers, judges, and prosecutors were killed, and this is a big number compared to 49 killings over 44 years from the Marcos time to Aquino. So, may can we just get your reaction to these? big figures. Uh, uh, I, I, you know, the work of the lawyers here, they know from the beginning that uh, their profession is fraught with danger. No? So, uh, I, I, I really say, I am not in a position to say here, I'm not in a position to say here, I'm not in a position to say here, doon sa number ng mga namamatay na abogado o fiscal o, o judges. No? Kasi, in the exercise of their profession, uh, many lawyers, no? Um, are representing clients even before who are involved in many controversial cases, may mga drug cases, may anti-terrorism, may mga terrorism cases, corruption cases, election cases. So, uh, yung mga ganong klase, yung nature ng mga cases na inawa kanila really expose, exposes lawyers to some personal uh, risk or safety, you know, or issues of security. Nangyayari talaga yan. And apart from mga uh, other causes na, na common also to other professionals, maaaring a reason for uh, the violence committed against them, ay personal, maaaring business related, maaaring political, and so forth and so on. Kaya, or maybe may mga certain advocacy sila, no, na personal or, uh, you know, na pinang, pinaprosecute or pinapursue very actively. So, maraming possible causes kung bakit nagkakaroon ng death among uh, members of the legal profession. So, parang it's so difficult for me to relate the number of deaths and make a comparison depending kung sino ang presidente ng Pilipinas. Well, the president himself is a lawyer. He, uh, do you think uh, he will uh, have a policy na parang, uh, you know, uh, will be uh, uh, something that will put his uh, fellow members of the legal profession in personal uh, uh, jeopardy? or something to that effect? I don't think so. Nangyayari yan because of circumstances to gain it, and not because of whoever is the head of the present administration. Um, in a related topic, no, because the DOJ began dialogues on lawyer killings just in January this year, but in 2020, two lawyers from the DOJ family died, and this these killings also began to be more pronounced November and onward. So, sir, why only do these dialogues in January of this year? Dialogues, uh, uh, you recent dialogues with the uh, IDP? And so yes, sir, in lawyer killings, and not lawyer killings. I'm sorry, I'm going to start off because you're getting the signal. So, dialogues with whom? The dialogue on lawyer killings. Well, it's, it's uh, better late than never. Better late than never, no? Uh, this is something that uh, is being done informally naman all the time, na napag-uusapan yan. At kung merong mga members of the legal profession who uh, become victims of uh, this violent crime, ay ini-investigahan din naman yan sa agad, like any other uh, victim of uh, common crime. So, uh, hindi naman talaga, kaya lang talaga nagkaroon ng formal dialogue, eh, dahil nga sa nagkaroon ng uh, recent state, uh, of feelings of involving members of the legal profession. So, uh, whether nakataon lang yun or not, we're not really sure kung nakataon lang. But the point is, something is being done about it. At kung magkaroon ng formal dialogue, so be it. Wala namang mawawala kung magkaroon na tayo ng dialogue with them para magkatulungan. So, uh, who knows kung in the future, eh, mas marami pang mangyayari na ganyan. Can we say that the dialogues were related? No. We don't know what will happen in the future. All of these risks are uh, happening uh, every day. 
So, we don't know what's in store for the future. Kaya nga kailangan ngayon pa lang ay gawin na ang pupwedeng gawin to uh, minimize incidents like this. So, hindi lang naman members of the legal profession ang nagiging victims of crimes. Marami pa ako, binari people, other professionals, and so forth and so on. You, sir? All right. Thank you, Secretary Guevara. Could I go?